broadcast, guys. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video here on Passage of Skin. Today we are checking out the PlayStation VR, and we've got a lot to check out today. How are you doing, Will? VR stands for very ridiculously difficult to set up to broadcast live. <laughs> but I'm doing well, thank you very much. Are you happy to be our <laughs> guinea pig for the day? Because... As always, I, I'm, I'm up for a bit of crack leg, so <laughs> why the hell not? I mean, Pardon, I'm reason. sober too, so like, this is going to be a different experience for me as well. The most, the most important thing is that... Um, Can you it, imagine virtual drinking? You know, just put a pint down, there, there is, you're in a virtual... Different pubs from across the world. Are you using to inhale different smells from different pubs? No, no, just, <laughs> like, just have the alcohol, you know, and a straw. There is actually um, a, a sports club game that you actually are sitting playing pool, playing darts, and you lift the ears <laughs> and throw them into your face and stuff. So, like, that'd be worth giving a try at some point. But we don't have that on for us to play today. So, um, we're going to jump straight into demos. Okay. So, uh, let's flap our way to the right there on the thing. We were, there's a whole bunch of games that I've got recently installed that came with the Humble Bundle, which I highly recommend you go and check out yourself, guys. Uh, uh, there's a PlayStation Humble Bundle from THQ Nordic that you can go and grab right now. Fifteen dollars for fifteen games. Damn ridiculous and damn good. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. You said go all the way over. Oh, that's right because you're actually logged into your account, so we'll be yep. showing everything on there. Ah. So we've got a problem here. We need to see the VR stuff, which I have, which, which on my account are, are, are all well organized and exactly where we need them to be. So uh, switch accounts, would you? <laughs> switch accounts. I don't. I don't mind if it shows that you're the uh, playing uh, on the VR the games for the first time on my account. Uh, that's okay. absolutely fine. Uh, Power and then switch uh, switch player. So what we're going to be looking at today is a series of demos, experiences, and that playables. One? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. That uh, have been <laughs> available on the Hong Kong, the Japanese, the American, and the EU PlayStation stores. So there's a bit of a variety in here. There's some stuff that you're, you're probably not going to be able to read the screen of at all. Nope. But we'll get through them. Not, we'll get not, through it. Not well again. anyway. So the first one on our list there is Steel Combat. This is actually a trial version of a VR game oh. available in Japan, but not available here. This is a, like this is actually kind of like an exclusive for the channel because not many people have actually been playing this because not many people actually go to the bother playing demos from Asia. No. So uh, you might want so, to put the headset on. Grand. Oh yes, it's actually coming up on this one. <laughs> there you go, yeah. problem solved. Yep. Yeah. So let me just uh, adjust the headset a little bit. Just yeah, so for anybody who hasn't used the PlayStation VR headset, there's actually like three levels of adjustability on it. There's actually a slider that you pull back and you can pull it down to your head and then slide it until it's actually feeling comfortable at the back of your skull, which then holds the rest of it in place with the front pad on your forehead. Then you actually use a little button on the front that actually slides it up and forward towards your eyes to get the focus right, mattering on whether or not you're wearing glasses or if you're actually short or long-sided. And then the last wee bit is we dial at the very back that you twist and that tightens it to fit it to your head. So that if you turn, lift and move your head around, It'll actually not stop, it'll stop it from falling off, essentially. And it gives you that really nice snug feeling that'll make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Oh, look, they can actually see. <laughs> Part of the setup. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. completely mangled setup. Well, so. you're standing in front of it anyway, so like you're seeing a lot more of it, but they're actually, you're blocking their view, so stay exactly where you are. Uh, yep, yeah, you're I okay. I think they should, be, they should be exposed to this, this, this travesty. travesty. What did you do? What did I, uh, it's, hmm, I don't know. Go back in. There you go. <laughs> it may have already started. It's just because I don't think we had a had a, just had used. We haven't used the VR headset just yet. I uh, no, you had the it was essentially to calibrate, and the problem is now I think the screen may have gone on this. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was a wee bit worried there. You can see okay. Yep. All right. I'm I'm monitoring. I can see absolutely fine as well. So this game uses PlayStation VR to play in order to avoid accident or injury. Check that there is no obstacles before putting on the headset and playing the game. Yeah, as long as I don't walk forward five feet, I won't. Tell myself. You've got plenty of space. You've got oh, all the space in the world. God damn Asian games in their circle button. <laughs> so did you go back out of the menu again? No, I just no. I went forward. It's just okay. I'm gonna hit this. Yeah, well, it just it'll always be inverse. I just remember that. I always warn you beforehand. I will say, thankfully, there's a control button here for volume because I'm half deaf now. <laughs> that was <not> loud. <laughs> all right. So yes. They can, they can see everything I can see right now. Yeah, so. everything you're looking at, we can see actually in the background as well. <laughs> it is kind of cool to actually be able to look around a full city like that. You're going to lose your balance doing Whoa. that, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, don't, <laughs> don't go too far. Yeah, I just kind of lost it there <laughs> when I uh, looked up too long. You get the so. vertigo whenever you actually look into the distance like that. Ah, oh, God. So, yes. Maybe I should do some training first. Well, no, there's no training available. Yep, no. <laughs> you gotta go straight into a single fight. 
So remember, it's circle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're actually playing as uh, different robots. You can choose different colors of them, choose different types of them. So this is essentially is mech combat uh, with a, essentially like I, I whenever I first saw the demo for this, I thought it was going to be more of a um, like side on demo or side on fighter where you're actually you can look around in the fight. But I think it's actually first person perspective whenever you start in. You've got to pick one of the characters just. Oh, you can only pick the ones that are highlighted. So one of two characters. No, they look pretty cool. I mean, like, uh, first one looks like some sort of, I don't know, friend Mantis. Oh, kid looks like Vision. It does, actually. What's that one called? It's called Chariot. Also kind of looks like he's stabbing himself through his own head. <laughs> just the way I said he's saluting. Yeah. <laughs> um, damn. Okay, I don't want to fight that guy. That's Apollo Creed. <laughs> yeah. That Creed. is. Wait, where is it? Creed's top left corner. <laughs> Creed. Creed attack, yeah. That's. Uh, that actually gives enough information about them. Is, how is the text looking to you for a readability? Well, uh, for me, I mean, does it look all right on the screen? Well, I mean, I would say it's a little bit difficult to read because of the speed that you move your head, but that's not to do I'm, with the game. I'm stand still right here, so. Yeah, I, I can read that reasonably well, actually. Oh, we are developed speed. for escorting members of the blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay, it might just be the way my. Uh... I might be looking at the headset. Uh, no, it's this way I'm looking at the headset. Well, no, but that's like that, that's natural head movement. That's one of the things that are like that's it makes it more immersive for you, it makes it more natural for you that you can look around like that. While people are looking at screens, while people are playing VR, it's a little bit it's not nauseating, but it's a little bit more disorientating because you want to look at things while they want to, the person playing looks at something else. Yeah, they want to read something while yeah. I like you know. Oh, Hydra, code name Hydra, big purple beastie, whatever that is. <laughs> so what are oh there's the female one, Pomeria. Yeah. I see. I see the female one, but it's one of those things where it actually ends up having delicate female features. It's actually just a thin robot. It's Pretty a speed. much. It's a, in the terms it of it, say in the terms of fighting, it's the speedy one. Ah, yeah, it speeds an A. All the way, I realize like, I'm pointing at these things, but my hand doesn't show up on the on my headset, which is <laughs> brilliant. But I can only imagine what it looks like when. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to, you're you're starting to realize the foolishness of uh, wearing VR. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. Welcome. Pretty much. Uh, so that's Centurion. It's only one like that and. I can only pick um, Lockup. Lockup. Who looks like a piece of junk. So I'm gonna pick that guy. Centurion. Yep. Yeah, it kinda looks more like the like the main character. He looks like the Ryu of the game. Are you picking that one? Yep. Alright. Tells you on the screen on which one which button to press. Oh, one color two or color three. So you pick one of the three colors. Oh, the same wow. way in Street Fighter you have different costumes. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Looking forward to seeing this. <laughs> I haven't seen this game in action. I haven't seen it being played. So literally, I've got no advice like for you. Be, like dancing or moving or something. <laughs> See, it makes you feel like you should be getting ready for an actual. Play. Also, the music's kind of like you know, pumping. Oh, I can hear if you turned up the TV. Well, no, it's the uh, whenever I speak, it actually brings down the audio, so it's actually balancing for us to be able to hear each other. All right. Okay. You're fighting Calbega. Yep. All right. Get ready to fight. Shit. Okay. It literally is just walk up into a fight. <laughs> um, oh, all right. This is actually you, this is coming into the fight. So that was you jumping in, and this is the thing you have to fight. That's what I'm fighting. Yeah, that's what you're fighting. <laughs> okay, there he is. Oh crap! Use the controls. Do what you can do. Oh, cool! It is a two D fighter. So it's a two D fighter that you kind of fight in a three D scene, so you look around and watch it. That's awesome. Oh crap. So you can actually see yourself being knocked into the background or jumping up in the air and stuff? Oh man, I am digging this. Yeah, not so much. That is cool. I think I've got a gun. Yeah, you do. That is apparently out of bullets. Well, you only have so many special shots, like. Yeah, that's good. Oh man, this is essentially a Street Fighter or like Rise. This is actually what exactly what we want. Oh, bitch! <laughs> This is exactly what we wish Rise of the Robots had been years ago. Round. That's awesome. Oh, uh, fucking reset me back over here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's where the rounds start. Oh, cool. The stats are above. Whoa, yep. focus. He's moved around to the far side of the screen to try to attack you from a distance. Oh, there's a wall stopping him, so you can beat him up against the wall. Bounce him off the wall. Boom! Fucking suck it, you goddamn purple piece of shit. You're kicking his ass, man. Oh, he kind of reminds me of a xenomorph. It does with like the extra the spangly limbs and stuff. Oh, nice dodge. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, they're heat seeking too. Okay. So essentially what it looks like is a standard 2D fighter that whenever you move around the arena, you just have to look and follow it. Which it makes it feel like a, a good stand-up game. I mean, this is the kind of one that you would actually oh, have to stand yeah. up to play. I mean, otherwise you would actually have a problem with um, being able to see behind you. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah. Equilibrium. <laughs> are, you, are you starting to lose your balance a wee bit? Well, I'm not entirely sure. Inte no, wait. I'm, still, I'm facing TV right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, grand. Wasn't sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> My orientation is gone. Oh, you're outside the play area? Uh, must have, I, might have, I might have detected something. Oh, well. The gun. No, I hit the, uh, you know, the reset button. The options button. Uh, yeah. Uh, there we go. Weird to say outside the play area now. I wonder if just, uh, there's only chance uh, the camera is detecting me somewhere else. <laughs> Very unlikely. Uh, well, this, well, when this loads around, I will then uh, try and reset. If you step a little bit closer, it might be the case. Step back a wee bit? <laughs> oh, that's making me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Have to move yourself around. So, um, yeah, obviously it's actually said saying it's detecting you incorrectly of being outside the play area, which is a little bit disturbing. Although it could be just the lights could be the problem. Yep. Wow, that is a big ass fucking robot. He literally is like the top and bottom half of a single tank. You get more health, you get do more damage to the top or the bottom. Shit, I don't know. Oh, he's nearly dead though? Kick his ass, Seabass! Oh, keep on going! Oh, nice, you're on the wrong side of him! Boom! You win! So yeah, this is, I, I'm definitely on board with this as the idea for making use of VR, just kind of like to change a 2D experience. I mean, I kind of expected it to be like a almost like a first person a fighter game, but this is kind of cool just as a 2D fighter. Gives you a bit of more of an explanation for why the scale is actually really interesting, because you're kind of like standing in the middle, literally controlling one of the two robots while in the middle of an arena. Oh, oh man, oh. yeah, you're dead that time. In theory, the people I'm fighting against would be like stood somewhere around beside me. Yeah, like literally the two of would actually be inside the center of a circle. Okay. Has it. What? Oh, change wall. Oh, you can actually change the wall that you be fighting, so it keeps them from going around behind you. Oh, okay. So that's useful. It stops you from having to look right around behind you whenever they're uh, dodging. Am I gonna shoot the fucker? What is going on? Oh, I'll probably beat him up a few more times. <laughs> hey, oh, motherfucker. Kevin owns that bitch. So, what you want? You want to keep on fighting, <laughs> or do you want to actually like move on to another demo? I move on to another demo. I also, might need to figure out where I am. You're kind of facing towards the TV. Uh, by another twelve degrees left. Yeah, now you're facing the TV. Okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. So, uh, what what do you want to do to get out of it? Is hit the middle PlayStation button on the controller. So, uh, do you want to come out of the the, the hidden depths <laughs> for a wee second? Uh, sorry. That's, that's, uh, yeah, right. You calibrate it. Right. So, um, <laughs> you try to figure out places where you can put the controller. <laughs> yeah, I think the I think the controller might need a <laughs> like a lanyard or something around your neck. That's that would be a main that would be a main thing. So let me just undo the back here. Yeah, it's a single press of the button that should loosen it up, and then you can pretty much slide what you need off. So yeah, <laughs> welcome back. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, you have no orientation of where you're standing when no! you're like that. No, not a clue. I thought I was. Uh, I didn't realize I'd walked over that far. So obviously, I'd walked far enough out of the um, the PlayStation camera's view. Yeah. To actually figure out. It's still near. What... It's still near there. I could still see, but you weren't uh, center frame. But that's oh, the way so... we set up. It's really disorientating. Whenever yeah. You, actually, you yeah. realize you. It's the same. That's always the feeling I always refer to is whenever you're in a bar and you have a drink in your hand. And you end up actually like you go to stand there, and somebody turns and pushes you a wee bit, and then pushes you a wee bit, and he pushes you a wee bit, and then you realize 15 minutes later you're not standing next to the same person you were standing next to earlier on. Jesus Christ, man, what bars have you been to that push you around so much like that? Yeah. And you're a big guy, like you're like six foot. I'm a very polite motherfucker, and it was in Belfast, so it's kind of one of those things you're like really busy nightclub nights. Well, and that's like it's one of those things in the past, like I don't let that happen to me, but it's just saying like that kind of like you get immersed in the situation and you completely lose idea of where your feet are moving or where you're actually doing. See, things. at least the other day when we were doing this, 
Pardon right me. Uh, at least when we're doing this other day in a couch, mm -hmm. we're looking around. You can't fully appreciate the roundness of everything. But you knew where you were. Yeah, because you, you're you're seated. You're actually like sitting yeah. in a single position. I wonder if the the spinning chair might help with that, so I can sit but spin around the whole thing. <laughs> now, I would love that with with our kind of the way our rigging works in here. I would love to do that with uh, the cables hanging down from above rather than actually hanging from below. Yes, which would be because it would stop the cables from getting caught in the uh, by the wheels, yeah. and, you know, uh, or caught your leg and then being yanked. It's a, you can give yourself enough lee leeway to be able to spin a couple of times, but there's a limit. But yeah. I've been having overhead is like some of the ways that people have been thinking about doing VR arcades where literally you just have cables running everywhere and you just walk over, plug your headset in, and that's you. Well, if I were the kids, I mean, if, if, Sony, if Sony were smart, they would sell uh, the headset separately the, where the cable would come out of the top, say the top part here. Mm -hmm. the Rather part. than coming out of the back of your ear, coming right. out of the top yeah. of them. That'd be something for them looking to. I think it's actually more of the fact that they need to find, uh, they need to be supplying longer extension cables for that lower part that's kind of tucked into your belt. Yeah. Or a belt cut port. Mm -hmm. So, big review. What do you think of Steel Combat? I enjoyed that. And I, I feel like when you've got, you know, when you finally get like the Hugh Jackman sort of, I'm sorry, when you get the, the proper controllers, the wands, the controller, the wands, you can properly go all Hugh Jackman on that shit. I mean, <laughs> if anything, they should approach Hugh Jackman to do an advertisement for this game. Uh, that was, the, I actually quite enjoyed steel. that. Uh, th that's really the feeling I get from it. It's actually it's a 2D fighter that takes its veins from Real Steel. Real Steel already has a video game out. It's a pity it doesn't have a VR mode. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> the modification that actually get the mimicry mode going on. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, guys, that was actually Real Steel. Our, <laughs> I thought was Real Steel. That was, that was Real Steel. <laughs> that was Real Steel, the movie for Um that, that literally was the plot of Real Steel. Like, you won the combat, you beat the big machine at the end. Yeah. So um, yeah, that was uh, Steel Combat. <laughs> I love the fact that once you take that off completely, it actually fixes that. Wow, how does... It knows whenever you're actually no longer wearing it. Because Ooh, of the pressure. That's, that's some freaky, deaky, scary-ass shit. Because there's no pressure on the actual headset. You notice that? The wee sensor in the front. Uh-huh. Ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> uh -huh. I can totally fuck her. I can... How about this? I just watched that screen over there. While uh -huh. holding it with your one hand and then using a motion <laughs> controller on the other. Uh, good choice. <laughs> so guys thank you very much for watching this is going to be a, a series of videos so we're going to do a bunch of these demos one after another thank you very much for watching steel combat and we will be back very very soon with the next video so if you actually enjoyed this hit the subscribe button up above my head it'll allow you to actually see videos from here from the channel on a regular basis and if you go over to where will is and he's <laughs> gesturing around them at either side being a our wonderful debbie mcgee model <laughs> we have videos of other series and other videos in this series that you can check out for yourselves thank you very much for watching and we'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye. Bye.